I'm moving on to the Social Democrats. In fact, the Roshan Chart. Thanks, Glasgow and Cordia. Taoiseach, the state's response to the latest COVID wave can be described as haphazard and somewhat chaotic. It lacks urgency, cohesion and rationality. This is particularly evident in the approach to antigen testing. It's more like uh, Lanigan's ball, in again, out again, than fact-based and deliberative. As we now know, your government led pharmacists and retailers on a merry dance during negotiations to agree a subsidy for the tests before abruptly walking off the dance floor. Health Minister Stephen Donnelly, in a casual aside during a long interview yesterday, revealed a subsidy was no longer being contemplated, apparently because the market will provide. According to the Minister, you can get tests for €4 Euro in certain supermarkets, so the state's role in making tests affordable has been replaced by the market, or has it, Taoiseach? There are a number of glaring problems with the state's hands-off approach to the provision of antigen tests. First, I want to address the issue of quality. Between June and early October alone, the EC rejected 160 separate applications from various producers uh, of antigen tests, while six tests were removed altogether from the list during that time. Clearly, there are a lot of subpar tests out there, and there is no regulator for diagnostic tests in this country. The HBRA regulates medicines, but has no role in regulating antigen tests, nor does any other body, Taoiseach. While retailers may be supplying tests at somewhat reduced rates, what assurance does the state have that these tests have been subject to any kind of quality control and are reliable? Or does the individual's personal responsibility in the fight against COVID now extend to policing standards for antigen tests that may be on the market? It is also a reality that antigen tests at three euro or four euro each, uh, when the advice is that they should be taken twice a week, is simply out of reach for many low and middle income workers who are already struggling, uh, struggling to cope. Your health minister's glib advice that people should simply shop around for the best price, Taoiseach, is beneath contempt. So can you be clear, Taoiseach? First of all, is this government happy for those who don't live near large discount supermarkets to pay through the nose, no matter what their financial circumstances? Secondly, how does the state propose to ensure a consistent supply of affordable tests in the absence of having some role in their provision and supply? And thirdly, and probably most importantly, Taoiseach, does your government have any plans to regulate diagnostic tests, specifically antigen tests, or do you intend to foist responsibility for that work onto ordinary citizens also? First of all, say the deputy said that the uh, government's response was haphazard and chaotic in general around the COVID response. I just would like to sort of put that in context. I mean, over 8.1 8 .1 million vaccines administered in Ireland, and the highest vaccination rate in the European Union, at 93.4% of the adult population fully vaccinated. And today the executive director of the EMA outlined how Ireland has the highest vaccination rate in Europe and, quote, deaths per one million population over the last 14 days were 15, but in two other EU countries with vaccination rates of less than 50 percent, the equivalent death rates were over 250 per one million of its population. I would respectfully suggest to you, Deputy, that this country's and this government's performance on vaccination is anything but chaotic and haphazard. That's the first point. Um, and the plan this week is to administer in the region of 220,000 to 240,000 vaccines, that's primary vaccine, uh, and of course the booster vaccine. Already 800,000 boosters have been uh, administered. 212,000 free lab tests were completed in the last seven days. 212,000 in the last seven days. The highest volume of lab tests completed to date in a seven day period. Approximately 1.1 million tests have, conducted, have been conducted in the past six weeks. Total expenditure on testing and tracing in the pandemic is now at about 846 million. Since the 28th of October, 93,346, or now it's closer to 100,000 now, uh, as, a, as of today, are close contacts who have used antigen tests. 
So we've sent out 100,000 free to close contacts antigen tests. Antigen testing of close contacts in schools has commenced. 8,000 were dispatched, dispatched yesterday alone, all free of, of charge. Um, and yes, we did engage with, with, with leading retailers uh, in order to achieve a price target of between two to three euros for antigen tests. Um, and in our view, um, what, we're, what we now have, if you take, for example, the serial testing that is also free in respect of agriculture, well over 100,000 free tests have been used there in terms of food production um, centres and then universities um, and, and, and the uh, third level sector have been using antigen free um, as well. I think we have a very targeted um, and um, effective, but also uh, in terms of the quality of the test and so on. There are established tests uh, with the, which the um, major multi uh, multiples um, adhere to. Uh, and this is, Europe has published a guide in respect of, the European Commission has, uh, of, of, and has given advice to member states in respect of uh, the range of quality tests that are currently on, 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 on the market. Um, and the, 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 the broader picture, as you know, is that um, the public health authorities have not been as enthusiastic as you would be, and I, I, I would uh, support your position on the use of antigen testing. I actually think where we are now is, is uh, a very significant advance uh, and where we have been uh, previously during the pandemic. Tisha, I won't me mention lack of capacity in testing, um, chaotic scenes at uh, the vaccination centres or the lack of action in relation to ventilation in schools. I raised questions specifically in relation to the antigen tests. How can you guarantee uh, affordability and how can you guarantee quality? And it's important to just quote from the current European directive, which uh, means that the performance of antigen tests is self-assessed by the manufacturers prior to their release. And to quote from the Mary Horgan group, uh, which examined this whole issue, it has made very clear that the group does not recommend specific tests for use, but uh, therefore it, uh, it's important that we ensure that there is robust ongoing monitoring and evaluation of the performance of these tests. So how do you propose to ensure that there is ongoing robust monitoring of these tests to ensure quality standards? Because at the moment, you know, the market decides the price and if people are chasing a low price, it is inevitable that there would be poor quality tests coming on the market, given the lack of regulation in this area. So how do you propose to ensure quality in relation to these tests and also affordability? Well, first of all, we're living in a very fast-moving pandemic. Um, and one, no one suggested, nor did you at any stage, that we should, prior to utilisation of antigen testing, establish a regulatory framework governing them in advance. I mean, You've been an advocate for antigen testing for the last number of weeks. You've been of a view that it should be happening much faster, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now you've come, now you've come back around to Scrum to say, well, actually, slow down somewhat. Now you're saying, uh, and don't ha have it as freely available uh, on the basis of. Um, Do you not think of, we should of, have regulation? Of course, we have, and we need very strong communications around the type of tests that people um, should, should, should buy. But what's more important as well is that in key targeted areas like schools, like the food, where up to 130,000 um, free tests have been uh, dispatched, where over 100,000 or close to 100,000 in terms of close contacts have been dispatched freely. Uh, so in key target groups, they're free. And they have been free. Um, and they will continue to be free as I went through all the different uh, the sectors public. where that currently is happening. Not but then the more generally then, I think the price range now has come away down uh, because of engagement from two euros up to three, uh, which I think is a very significant advance. But also us remember that PCR testing remains Thank our you. core response. Thank you, and we have 210,000 given out free and done free Tisha, properly so last week.